All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link, and don't forget to download the video, especially those who they are from Indonesia, please. And if you can add subtitle, that will be wonderful. Uh, uh, there is a you know sometime Muhammad and they post for me comments, and uh, this is one of them. And maybe I think they think I did not answer because I don't have answers or something. Uh, this guy, his name, Wahyu Nur Ihsan. Wahyu Nur Ihsan, as you see in the screen. And he say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I mean, uh, he made it look like a train. Uh, you should make a, you should make a separation, my friend. You, you are you are insulting Allah by doing that. What Bismillah? This is a train. This is not a Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. But anyway, this Muhammadan, he made a post, and by his post, he proved to us that Islam not only false. Islam is a stupid cult and Muslims do not believe in Islam so I'm going to go on like his post is really long very long I mean we cannot read it really all but I will give you the summary look I mean I need maybe uh, uh, if you want to go over it I need maybe like two hours three hours to read it so uh, I mean read and answer every everything he posted but we will take it short and we will show you how fu how funny this Mohammedan is and I don't think even he understand what he posted because this is not his writing, I think somebody else is copying an article from somewhere. But look at the, this long, long, long post. All of this to prove to us that Jesus was not crucified. All right. I will start from the beginning a little bit so we can get an idea about this, uh, uh, this post. Crucifixion is a punishment by slowly killing, by hanging on a cross bar to die. It does not if it does not die then it's not a crucifixion okay if it did not die it's not a crucifixion you just confirm that this is must be crucifixion then I was planning to go from the end but just for the love because I can answer it from the Quran immediately but just for the sake of love let's read we review from the beginning. Who is the barrier of the of Jesus cross? Maybe this is a trivial thing, but it is of, of scriptures uh, that writes contradictions like this. When very tarnishing, tarnishing, it is a sensitivity. Mark fifteen twenty one. At this time, a man, a man named Simon or Simon. Uh, the Kyrenian uh, and the father of the Alexander, etc., uh, etc., et and there he says. And then in the Luke chapter 23, verse number 26, when they took Jesus, they arrested a man named Simon, and uh, supposedly he carried the cross. And then he's in the continue, and this is in Matthew chapter 27, verse number 32. They walked uh, out of the city, they met a man, his name is etc. And then please read carefully. Uh, Marx and Luke and Matt, Matthew have the same story about Simon, the one who carried the cross. But it is different written in John. John 19, 17, it says, carrying his cross, he went to, out to the place called uh, the skull, which means the Jiljula. Now here you see the funny Muslims. You see, one of, uh, the, the, the point of this man who carried the cross, because supposedly Jesus was humiliated and he cannot carry it no more so it doesn't mean he did not carry the cross he carried the cross as you see when they arrive out of the city they found that man so all the way in the city jesus is the one is carrying his cross and this is a very heavy cross so when he cannot carry the cross no more they force a man so when john he report that he carried the cross until al uh, 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 or the skull he has just given us a short uh, uh, ending without details about what happened between so here the Muslim he tried to say but this is not what it says there however what is that will, will tell us let us read more Marcus and Luke and Matthew uh, versus Johanna which verse is correct all of them all of them as an example in the Quran it says that an angel came to Mary 
and he told her you will have a gift of a holy son different verse in the Quran says angels they came to Mary and they told her you will have a gift of a holy son so which one is correct are you going to say now are, are, are you going to run from your logic so what you will say to me well here because only one angel he spoke and there may be uh, uh, but no it says the angels told her which mean all the angels they spoke so one story says one angel the other story says angel so which one is correct I can let it go and say okay the, in the, uh, one verse has given us more details the other verse is not giving us too much details this is new Quran so this is how silly the Muhammadan when to try to prove a point and then which verse is correct Jesus is the the, the cross or uh, of the cross itself what does that mean? I'm not understand his English. Uh, or it is the one who carried Jesus across. You see, you are the one who is carrying for us verses. Why you don't read? As an example, you are the one who posed for us Matthew 27. Why you did not read the rest of Matthew 27? And then we will understand. But because you are a hypocrite, you decide not to read it. Because if you read, then we will understand. Because both John and Matthew and Luke and Mark, all of them confirm that the one who was in the cross and the one who carried the cross, it was Jesus. If that guy in the way he carried for some time does not mean he Jesus did not carry the cross. That's very silly of you. Same time, as long as you are trying to prove to us from Mark 15, Luke 23, Matthew 27, that Jesus was not crucified, why you don't post? Each one of those chapters says that Jesus was crucified. So you quote only a verse to say there is a guy he carried the cross in the way and hey guys when we when they took this guy for execution uh, there's a taxi driver he took us in the way it must be then the taxi driver is getting killed if we go to Matthew 27 as an example just to show everybody how stupid what you are posting for us and by the way this is not my answer for you the answer is coming because you must times it doesn't matter what we show you from the Bible Still, you will not accept anyway. I mean, what the point? But just to get you busted, this is Matthew 27. All of Matthew 27 confirm that Jesus was crucified. But you decide to quote for us a verse. Let us listen together for Matthew 27. Or maybe it's too long. Let us go. Let us go a little bit. If you see here that in Matthew 27, they are saying that they arrested Jesus. Who is the one they got arrested? Jesus. Who is the one who was in the front of the court? Jesus, even in your post, by the way, you, you admit that it says that. Who is the one they question him? You said Jesus. Who is the one who was insulted in the course? It was Jesus. So court and priest. And thousands of people witnessing, and then they, they did not recognize who is Jesus. But just to make it short, so everybody will laugh at you. In Matthew 27, who was there during the crucifixion? Remember, you are the one who paused this verse, so you cannot say, I don't want. I don't want this verse. Right? Who was there during the time of the crucifixion? His disciples. In different verses, it says that Jesus, he spoke to his mother. And he said to one of his disciples, this is your son and this is your mother. So the mother of Jesus was standing there, yet she could not recognize Jesus. Do you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity? So why are you all quoting for us? If we go, uh, you know, to read the quotation of a Mohammedan, and try to understand what he's trying to to say to us the answer is very simple he caught verse from here verse from there verse from here he jumped like a monkey 
in order to come with his own conclusion that Jesus was not crucified. Right? So did you accomplish your mission? No. Because your Quran got you busted. You quote for us, John, let us go back to your post. So everybody will laugh. You are the one who posts for us, John 19, 17. Not me. Right? Okay, if we go to John 19, 17, what we will find? Shall we go to John 19? Let us go. Hold on. <laughs> Stupidity is amazing. The disaster is not here. You know, I don't really I uh, no, I'm not I'm not explaining the Bible for him I know that he knew that he is lying and just explain to the Christians so they learn how to answer When the Muslims they try to fool you This is John 19 <clears throat> We put it in the front of you in the screen All right What happened? You post for us, John 19. If we go down a little bit, we will find the following. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, so you are trying to convince us that it's not Jesus who was there. And you say to us the story in John is different about who, uh, who carried the cross. One verse proved to us that all the Muslims propaganda and stupidity is amazing. His mother and his aunt is there. And both of them, they did not recognize that this is not Jesus. Remember, they stood next to the cross. Which means this is after they hang him in the cross, not before. Then the soldier, when they had to crucify Jesus, they took his garment and they made four part of every for a soldiers, a part also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, etc. And then Therefore, among themselves, let etc. So you can read. I mean, the, the important for me that we see that the mother of Jesus in the front of the cross, and yet this is not Jesus, because according to this Abdul post, that it is not Jesus who was crucified. The Christians they have to come because he caught for us at the end of his post. Let us go there, just for a laugh again. At the end of his long post, he said, well, it says in the Bible, if Jesus' crucifixion was not real, that means all our faith is in vain. But isn't it all the Bible confirmed? He posted off for us, 1 Corinthians 15, 14. But the same chapter you are posting for me confirmed that Jesus was crucified. Every chapter you post in this long crazy article confirmed that Jesus was a crucified now it's time to get you busted from your religion I don't care really you believe in the Bible or not obviously you are brainwashed and you're being silly the whole Bible says it clearly that we believe that Jesus was a crucified now if we go in the Quran the Quran will get you busted with no mercy get ready for a spanking this is the Quran chapter 3 verse number 55 this is your Muslim translation, not our translation. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to uh, uh, change the translation into uh, 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 Indonesian a little bit later. So those who speak uh, Indonesian, they can read with us. I do not know why it says Indonesian. I don't speak Indonesian, you know. But the story in the front of us. 
Then the Quran says, وَإِذَا قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا إِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيْهِ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَجَائِلُ الَّذِينَ اتَّبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَّا يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ Translation Here you will see how the Muslims, they try to fabricate the translation. In Arabic it says, إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ what mutawafiq mean? I'm causing your death. Do you see anywhere it says I'm causing your death? It's gone. Change the translation. This is Hilali and Khan. Let us go to Arbari. I will take thee to me and will raise thee to me. Where is the death? Where, where causing the death? It is gone. Change the translator. <laughs> Different translation, Shakir. Is that Shakir? Let us see. No, this is uh, Dutch. Uh, Itani. Let us see Itani. We never tried this guy. Look at this, Itani. Oh Jesus, I'm terminating your life and raising you to me, Muhammad Itani. So the Quran says that in order for Jesus to go up to heaven, first Allah have to terminate his life. And as you see, this is your Muslim translation. Which means the Quran confirm that Christ before he went to heaven, he died and he was resurrected. So the silly stupid you, you spend all this time to write this article, quoting verse from there, verse from here to play with it. It doesn't work. Here we go. Allah is spanking you and leaving his five finger in your bum.